Hello, I see I got 17 minutes. I need to clear the memory on my phone again. Um, I was hoping to have a better update for y'all today on my tiny home. By me, it's quite bare because I've decided I'm gonna build a loft up here and move my bed up, my bedroom, and a lot of storage will go up, leaving me living room down, room, living room space down here. So. I, I've been tossing around that idea for a while, and after I went to my house and I got some stuff, I realized I need more storage, so there's a lot's going to have to happen. So, <clears throat> I waited until I got a little check. I did. I got a little check from my last paycheck from my old job, and I went and bought some lumber. And so, I went and bought stuff for the skeleton. I, I was like, let's get skeleton. I'll get this other stuff, the railing, the ladder, the flooring after the skeleton's finished. Not bad, about a hundred bucks. I did hit the cheap bin. If you go get wood, just look at your wood. It's not always going to be straight. It's not always going to be good. Pick the best out of the best if you have to. I got, actually they had some really, really good 2 by 4s in um, their, their cheap bin, their clearance bin. Whatever you want to call that. Um, but I did buy four 4 by 4s in high quality. Oh my god, my saw had a beast of a time trying to cut it. And, uh, I think it's like redwood or something. It it kind of has red ho hue to it. And that saw was trying its hardest. But it made it through, kind of. But it was not... I mismeasured the blade. Because I got a circular saw. And I measured the blade, and I was like, yeah, that'll make it through a 4 by 4 if not, I can flip it over and go the rest of the way around. I forgot I want a circular saw. It's inverted just enough. So I've got just a, like, a little splinter in the center of this 4x4 that the saw cannot reach. So I had to stop. That and I lost daylight. And uh, I'm not one of those assholes going to be up after dark, keeping everybody awake, running a saw. I'm not going to do it. I, I got tomorrow. I got the next day. I got time. Right now, my building is a disaster because everything that was over here, I have now moved <laughs> over here. And I, I barely have a walkway now. Even my kitchen table is covered with stuff. And some trash that I haven't got out yet, but tomorrow's trash day, so I'll get it. Um, I'm not saying it was a failure. T today was not a good day for me. I woke up and I was wanting coffee. I usually make my coffee out here, but my sleeping little two-year-old over there, I don't know if you can see him, I was taking the dogs outside to potty after they eat, and I always walk out with them so they don't get out the fence and get in trouble, and I walk back in, my son has dumped all of my coffee, my Christmas flavored coffee, my peppermint bark coffee that was so yummy, it's in the floor, my pound of sugar in the floor. All my creamer in the floor. My poor vacuum's pregnant with coffee, sugar, and creamer now. So I woke up. I wanted coffee. I got the baby changed, diaper changed, dress, boots on. I went to my nephew's house next door here. I love that boy. He helps me out so much. But uh, I went in. Well, I walked out, and I went to open my gate. I don't know about y'all, but everything was frozen at 9 o'clock this morning. Took me a good minute to get that gate open. <laughs> ah, it was pretty bad. I finally got the latch undone, and then I got to open the gate. Gate still won't open. The bottom of the gate is frozen into the mud. Yeah. So I had I told my son I said step back for a second. I start kicking the crap out of my gate, and I got knocked loose just enough for us to squeeze through, and we squeeze through, and we go over there. I'm like, right. I told my my nephew was at work at the time, but I told his wife, I said, we're here, I'm making coffee. And I go in there, and he's got one of those fancy Keurigs. It's a Keurig with the single serve or the Carif, I believe is what it's called, the, the pot. And I'm going to do a pot because I'm planning on sharing coffee. <laughs> All right, uh, so I cleaned up the coffee pot, and I went to get water. <laughs> Water's frozen over. It's like, oh my god. I look over. Her, her Brita filter pitcher has just a little bit of water in it. 
So, all right, I'll do that. I'll make a small pot. So I pour it in the back, and I put my coffee and all that, and I hit the button. It brewed maybe that much and stopped. And I was like, wait, what are you doing? <laughs> Why'd you stop? So I'm thinking, may maybe it just didn't have enough water. I keep water bottles out here because I don't have running water out here. I will soon, though. Not running water. It's the camp sink thing that I found. And you, like, fill up a five-gallon reservoir and you pump it with your foot and it squirts water. Awesome. And it has a toilet to work the same way. So I bought both of them. So I'll have my own facilities out here. <laughs> Sorry, the allergies in this area are really killing me. Hello, cat. But, uh... So I came out here, I got one of my bottles of water, I took it back in, I filled the Keurig all the way up, hit the button. You hear it heating up, I was like, alright, nothing, it goes off. I'm starting to get irritated at this point. I love Keurigs, I know how to work them. I had one till it broke, the tank got broke. So I'm getting irritated, I went ahead and I hit the button again, and I went, Dealing with my son getting his milk and stuff. It went off again. About eight times I did this. And finally I gave up. I hit the button. I gave up. I said if it don't work it don't work. And I walked off. And I went to the bathroom. And I came back and I hear the sweet sound of coffee. The sweet smell of coffee. And I was like alright. All right, we're, we're making coffee now. Thank God. So I made a full pot of coffee. I drank my one cup. I kind of wanted more. But I needed to get things done the, today. They haven't called me in to work yet. It's really freaking irritating me. The thing I hate about temp agencies, they don't get in a hurry to put your butt at work, and I am a worker. I think I'm driving my nephew's wife crazy because I want to work. I wake up. I got to be doing something. I cannot just lay around watching TV all day. So I was like, all right, I got a little bit of money. Let's go start this loft and clean up my building and make it more livable because I'm trying to make, make it more livable out here where I can stay out here, and they can have their family time because they have a two-year-old I have a two-year-old you put two two-year-olds together it's hell it's hell oh my god kill these kids ah! one goes this way one goes that way and they're both into something you go to the bathroom and you hear them shh, tips, 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 tips. shh, shh. they're coming mama mama shh. and you hear their little feet pattering you know they're into something you freaking know it. you can't even go to the bathroom I love them to death I do but <clears throat> Sorry, like I said, my allergies have been really bad. I'm going to find my tea in a little bit. Some mint tea. I'll try to clear this up. There's like some kind of cotton weed out here. It's really got me bad. But, uh, I got my coffee. I took off and I went and got, went straight to Lowe's. I didn't even think about checking the other lumber places here because I don't know the area too well. And I just want to get it done. And I was hoping to have at least the skeleton done today. That did not happen. I'm a little disappointed, but maybe tomorrow, if, I, if they don't call me into work tomorrow, I'll continue working on it. I have to go get a hand saw because I'm not buying another circular saw to just cut that little piece in the middle of 4x4 four four and I only have four 4x4s. Four the rest two 2x4s. My saw can handle that. So I'll just get a hand saw, finish it up, and get the skeleton up. And then I'll get this mess cleaned up. And all that and but when I got to Lowe's that's I keep getting sidetracked I am sorry I got to Lowe's and I'm looking at lumber I'm I'm shopping around I'm making sure I make the right decisions I'm also making sure my plans are written out correctly I'm also changing plans for how it may work better how it may be more sturdy more secure I finally made a plan where it is going to be sturdy enough where you can put a freaking cow up there and it's not gonna move so I made the plans, and I had to find the right size lumber, the right size everything. And I, was, I chose my 4x4s. Right, I grabbed four of those, good supports, 4x4s, into the flatbed cart thingy. Then I go to my 2x4s, and that's where the 4x4s were very good conditioned. The 2x4s were iffy-iffy. I had to dig through those a bit. Right out the gate, I squished my poor little thumb between two boards. <clears throat> well, I looked down, I was like, God, that hurts. That hurts quite a bit. I'm looking around, seeing if anybody saw my stupidness. 
and I'm still pulling splinters out of my fingers. But uh, I'm looking around. I look down, I'm dripping blood. I am bleeding. Like I cut my thumb off. So I took my jacket and I cuffed it over and I squeezed it to stop the bleeding. I'm still looking around. <laughs> Making sure nobody sees me bleeding and freak out. A lot of people will freak out. And I'm, it was my fault. I'm not still in the company. No, it was an accident. And it, what it did is it just raked a good chunk of skin off my thumb there. But it, it was bleeding bad. And I'm kind of moving lumber while I've got my little thumb tucked in and squeezed in trying to stop the bleeding. My poor coat. I'm going to have to wash it. <laughs> it's alright. It's my work coat. It it does need washed. Although after I sawed that wood, it smells like really good lumber smell. And get, you, all, you know the smell. If you know the smell, you know the smell. It smells so good. And I got all my lumber in there. And I'm still thinking, God, I hope I got everything. I, I really do. And I get back here, and I was like, crap. <laughs> My nephew's got a drill. But he said he don't got no bits. <laughs> and I ain't got no screws. He's got nails. I'm not nailing a whole off together. I need a little more sturdy stability to that. So I was like, all right. My nephew brought home lunch. So I came in and ate because I'm hypoglycemic, and I went all day without eating again. <sighs> I've got to quit mistreating myself like that and I ate and then they're like hey we're gonna borrow your truck we'll be right back okay apparently they're going to get a dog house they weren't able to find a dog house unfortunately but we will find one and uh they came back around I don't know six I don't know no it wasn't six no no it was three or four it was kind of late later than I wanted to start working on this which is fine they needed to do stuff that's perfectly fine I watched the two two-year-olds oh my god oh them little rats I love them pieces though I, I would jump in front of a bully for them uh, but they'll wear you out and I got them out here and I started working I did my measurements three times making sure and of course after my extra support I had to adjust my measurements because the loft's gonna be Probably right here. I'm only five foot, so it's gonna be low. Somebody tall like my nephew, he's gonna have been down. I'm sorry, but there'll be a couch. You're just gonna have to get to that couch and sit. <laughs> I will be fine, but I will also have enough room up for my bed and storage, so I have more room down here. And I started working, and I haven't used a saw in a long time, but I know what I'm doing, and I sawed it, and I missed my mark by almost an inch I was so mad I was so mad I went in my nephew's house cussing I was like this is bull <laughs> this is bull I've never missed my mark by that much I mean maybe a centimeter or something but no this was a big miss luckily I messed up <clears throat> my throat's getting dry I messed up the end of the 4x4 that I'm not using so kudos at least I didn't mess up the part that I needed I'll try better tomorrow if I don't get called into work. And hopefully next time I make a video. Y'all will see a skeleton or a finished loft here. But there will be a 4x4 four four here. By the door. 4x4 four four in that corner. 4x4 four four in that corner. And a 4x4 four four here. Beyond that there's going to be 2x4 slats. Going back and forth. Heavily secured. I'll probably have to go back and get a couple more 2x4s. Because I'm also going to brace the bottoms of them. And then above the 2x4 slats, there is going to be at least a half inch to an inch of decking to add to more stability to the top. Because I'm going to have my queen size bed up there. It's my fat butt and storage. It needs to be secure and safe enough for people to be down here enjoying TV and whatever. Uh, <laughs> I do apologize. These, I, got, I get really bad winter allergies. Really bad. But I have moved everything away from the wall because I really expected to have more done. I did not get there. I'm a little upset that I didn't, but it's been a rough day. Even dinner was late because that got messed up. Every, just everything got messed up today. So hopefully it'll get better. I'll get this thing built. 
I'll get everything organized back in order, have a little bit more room. I'll have my table out so we can have dinners on the table. We can play board games on the table and live like a family. And I can live out here and let my nephew and his wife and his family do their family things where they can come out here. It's okay. And also with my bed up there, my dogs cannot... Oh, you can't see it. It's dark. My lamp's blocked by all the crap. But uh, they've muddied my bed. And I bought a new bed set. Um... I'm not putting that bed set on there until my bed's up there away from the muddy dogs. <laughs> I've been putting a dirty blanket on top of the bed hoping for the best. But, yeah, I, I wanted to give you all an update. I'm hoping it works out better. Oh, I really do. I, I wanted it done today, at least the skeleton, but things happen. It just happens. Not everything goes your way. I did enjoy my day, though. It was pretty fun. I like running the saw. I like to build things. I really do. I love to build things. <laughs> but I'm going to get off here. I'm going to find my tea. I'm going to try to clear out my sinuses a bit from these allergies. And I'm probably going to crawl in bed with my beautiful little baby over there that's being so sweet. But y'all have a good day, and I will post when I get more done. Have a great day, and keep your heads up.